Okay, welcome to this introduction to MongoDB tutorial. MongoDB, as you may or may not already know, has been growing in popularity in recent years as a database. It's been adopted by many companies worldwide and developers are rushing to learn more about it and learn how to use it. So what is MongoDB in technical terms? In technical terms, it is a cross-platform document-oriented database. So it's a document-oriented database mainly because it stores the data not in tables like relational databases, but in, in the form of documents, which are BSON documents, and it's an extended version of JSON, which we will talk about in a minute. It was developed by MongoDB Incorporated, and it is classified as a NoSQL database. NoSQL databases are a different form of databases from relational databases. They do not store data in the form of uh, tables, they store both structured and unstructured data, and they come in a wide variety of forms, which I discussed in a previous video. So, what is a document? And what does it mean in the MongoDB context? So, a document is basically just a record in MongoDB, so it's um, all the information about a certain object or element, and this is for, let's say, for this person, I want to have a document with all their information or activities or whatever. It's the basic unit of data in MongoDB, and like we said before, it looks like JSON, but it exists as BSON, which, is, which stands for binary JSON, and we will discuss BSON in a moment. So this is a sample MongoDB document. The sample MongoDB document looks like this. It has... Um, so in the first, uh, the top picture, we see this sample from MongoDB. The It's like a key value pair view for the document. So all of this is a document. This is the ID field, and this is the key. This is the value. This is the name. This is its value. And it's just a collection of key value pairs. This is an array, and we can see the different forms. So in this, um, in this variation of the display, so these are... These are just two different versions of how you can display these documents. This is the JSON um, display for the document. So this is a JSON document that starts with the curly braces. These are the key value pairs. And this is how an array looks like in JSON. And that's basically how the data is structured. So this is a document about a guy named Joe and about his um, classes. So he is an undergrad, he has nine units, and these are the classes that he's taking. And these classes are stored inside an array. So what is a MongoDB collection? So we learned what a document is and how um, it works, let's say. So a collection is basically just a group of documents. So you know how a table in relational databases stores all these records? So it's kind of analogical to that. So the collection is a bunch of documents. So we have this photo here, which is like stacked documents um, belonging to the same collection. And usually documents in a collection serve the same purpose. So let's say all of them are about humans or all of them are about animals but there is nothing that limits that so you may add different things so it's all up to you it's very flexible at the end of the day it is a no sql database so this is a sample collection of a bunch of users and their addresses so this is how it looks like they're all um, json documents or let's say bson documents but this is json format so so in order not to confuse things, BSON is basically, it looks like JSON, but internally it's different. So this is it. Okay, so let's actually discuss what BSON is. It stands for binary JSON. It is an extended version of JSON to allow easier parsing of the data. So BSON was made by MongoDB itself for their own database. They wanted faster and easier parsing for the data. JSON is a data storage format for those of you who are not familiar with it, and this is what it looks like in any way. So it's a bunch of uh, key curly braces of key value pairs, and it has different formats from objects to arrays, which we've seen. So this is basically it. You don't have to stress about the differences between BSON and JSON because it essentially looks the same, but it is just different internally. 
So the document structure, so this is how a document in MongoDB is structured. It consists of fields separated by commas. So as we can see here, each key value pair is separated by a comma inside the same document. Each field has a key and a value. So a field is essentially a key value pair, except the value can be different. So values can be scalar values, such as the name Joe, so that's a string. They can be arrays of values, such as geography, math, journalism. So these are different values, and they're all put inside one array corresponding to the same key. Or they can be nested documents. So if you can see the units, uh, the units or the ID, this is a document that containing a key value pair. So it's like, and you can go infinitely nesting it. But you obviously don't want to do that because that will just create more complex, um, it just makes data searching more complex. But anyways, this is all you need to know about the structure. So what are MongoDB data types? For example, we have a string such as... So what are MongoDB data types? You could have a string, which is basically just a sequence of characters such as word or hi, one, two, three, four. You could have a double, which is a number and can be decimal. You have objects, and objects are basically documents, you could say. So they start, they have curly braces, and then there's a sequence of key value pairs inside. You could have an array. The array could be of either values or of objects also. So it's up to you how you want to nest your data. So you could have also a boolean, true or false. You could have the object ID, which is generated on its own. So if we want to go back to the sample, so you could see the object ID here. It's a 12 byte hexadecimal number and it's generated by MongoDB. However, you can edit it yourself to put something else there. So you can have an ID, which is a double or a, or a string, and you could just create your own IDs for people, but automatically this is what the ID field will contain when you create data in MongoDB. We can talk about creating and, and uh, structuring data more in a next video. So, and you finally you have the date, and it's basically in the form of a timestamp ISO date, and there are other more complex, um, more complex data types that a beginner should not concern themselves with until a very um, until a very later stage. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it useful to understanding the preliminaries of MongoDB. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or comments and you can contact me either in the comments or through my email. Thank you very much.